the heart was originally a single chamber. But as development continues, it becomes partitioned into four chambers, two atria and two ventricles. The ostium primum is the opening between the left and the right atria. Later, a septum secundum is formed so that the septum primum joins the endocardial cushion, leading to the formation of a septum secundum, which later becomes converted into foramen ovale. The foramen ovale closes up at birth so that blood now runs from the right atrium to the right ventricle. The interior of the heart. The single chambered heart soon gives rise to the formation of the endocardiac cushion in the middle with a still wide communication between the atria and the ventricles. Septum primum is formed at the roof of the right atrium which approaches the cushion and forms the ostium primum between it and the cushion. It then becomes detached on the top with the formation of the ostium secundum behind it and the obliteration of the ostium primum as it joins the endocardiac cushion. The ostium secundum then becomes the foramen ovale at the mature six weeks heart. With the formation of the atrioventricular valves between the atria and the ventricles, the heart becomes four-chambered with only the foramen ovale as the opening between the atria.